What's up YouTube? Doing a video on a cabin air filter and uh, I've actually never changed mine. I've owned the car for three years. Uh, I don't know if it's ever been changed but we're gonna find out in a second and I'm going to show you all how to install this. Uh, this works for the 2006 to 2011 Civics all models and the part number this is a Fram Fresh Breeze with Arm & Hammer absorbs odors uh, the number is CF10134. I actually picked this up at Walmart today. Um, I priced them on the internet. They're slightly cheaper on the internet. Um, I don't think they were actual name brands. They were just uh, just a basic one. But I paid $18 at Walmart for this one. Uh, it's a Fram. And the ones on eBay were around like $8 to $10 with free shipping. So. I guess it just kind, of, just kind of depends what you want. Um, they're probably all relatively the same. I just saw that this one had the uh, absorbs odors with Arm & Hammer baking soda. So, I don't know. Here's the back of it. It's the back of what it looks like. And hold on, let me try and set this tripod up. And I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what you get in the box. Uh, get some instructions. Okay, this is cool. Uh, I think that might actually be uh, the inside of the Civic. I didn't know if this was used on multiple vehicles or not, but I'm going to show you all how to do it. It's actually located behind the, um, the glove box. So here's what the filter looks like All right. so next I'm going to show you in the car uh, how to remove the glove box and how to get the old one out okay so now we're in the car and the filter is going to be located in the glove box here so you can go get a good view of this so you're going to open this up take everything out of it of course and you're going to grab right here there's a tab here and here, and you just push in and pull down, and that's going to slide down like that. All right, now let's look at this thing. All right, it's going to be right here. This part it says airflow with the arrows pointing down. There's a tab on this side and this side over here. You're going to pinch both these in and pull it out. I'm going to set the camera over here. It might be kind of hard to see, but all right. So you're going to pinch both tabs, pull this out, and there you go. It's pretty dirty. I don't know if you all can see this. There's actually a moth in here. There's a moth. Um, there's a lot of debris in this. See, this is pretty dirty. I don't know if this has ever been changed or not, but we're about to change it now. So, I'm going to come back in here. So we can get these side by side. Set up the tripod in here. Alright, so here's the old one. I'm going to open the new one real quick. And these filters are kind of fragile, so you're going to make sure you don't, don't tear them up. They're pretty uh, flexible. Right. Now when you go to this, is just going to lift up and out so it flips up and out it's pretty dirty all right and as you can see right here it says airflow down that's the way that was so now you're going to look at this filter 
it's gonna say, what did I say? Alright, right here. Airflow down. So you're gonna put this back in there with the arrows pointing down like on the uh, the picture. Get that in there. Alright, so now we got that in. Airflow down. It's just like that. Like that. Now I'm going to show you how to put it right. Alright, one quick thing uh, I noticed on this one. This was the old filter, it was in like this. And as you can see, says airflow with the arrow pointing that way so actually and the arrow was supposed to be pointing down so whoever owned the car before me the filter was actually supposed to go in this way with the arrow pointing down the same as that arrow so they actually put it in backwards um, I'd assume that makes a difference so, yeah, just make sure you check the arrows on it. I double check this one just to make sure, but I do have that right. So, just follow those arrows. I'm going to show you how to put it back in the car real quick. <sighs> Alright. Let me set this track all back up again. So same way you took it out, make sure the arrows are pointing down for the airflow. That way it slides right back in and do it until you hear it clip. Now that's clipped, now you pull this up, pinch these in on both sides. There you go, that's there. And there you go. They're all set. You go right back together just like that. And um, it's just something uh, that should be done. I don't really know how often you're supposed to do it, but honestly, I didn't even know there was a filter there. I heard about it about a year ago, never paid much attention to it. All the cars I've ever owned, um, I never replaced it. But uh, I know my dad replaced his recently, and his was really dirty. So kind of thought, you know, mine probably needed to be replaced, especially since I've owned the car three years and uh, have never replaced it. But yeah, it's something to look into. Uh, make sure you keep that clean, filters the air that comes in, and this one has Arm & Hammer baking soda, it's supposed to clean the air even more, so I guess we'll see how it works. But uh, thanks for watching, like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, thanks for watching.